Okay, just a quick video. This is about the 7G Mercedes transmission. And if you're looking at this, this is actually the plug that goes into the transmission plug. Um, and they're looking at the back side. When you look at this, you're looking at the back side. And if you notice, there's can low, can high, there's 12 volts, and then there's ground. So we're going to trace those back from the plug back to the OBD2. So um, this is a homemade cable that I made a long time ago. Um, it has female spade connectors so that I can hook it up to a battery, a small little 12 volt. So when you're looking See if I can look at this the right way. Okay, when we're looking at it like this, um, one is down here, and then eight is here, nine, and then 16 is there. So these two, four and five, four and five are ground. Hook those up to the ground on the plug and also the ground going to your battery and then your positive from the battery is going to go to pin 16 on the OBD2 plug and also to I can't remember what plug pin it is, but it is the red with the white. Yeah, I think it's a white stripe. So now all you have left is the can high and the can low. And if you look at them, one has a white stripe and one doesn't. Sorry, this is kind of tough, I know. When you're now this extra wire, I have no clue what that does. I just taped it back. Um, I got this out of a wrecking yard a few years ago. So if you look at this, you know, we've got our, um, eh, I want to say can highs on the dark green. And then can low has the um, white stripe. But somehow I hit a button and ended up jumping down about 50 pages. So, and this is the Abritus manual, so this isn't some hokey pokey secret super squirrel stuff. This is actually in the manual for Abritus. And we're getting there, we're getting there. It's, oh, there it is, right there. So you can see the can low. Guess I was wrong. Can low is on the top, which is a solid green. And on my cable, the solid green goes to the dark blue, which on my OBD2, the dark blue is going into pin 14, which is right up here. And then can high goes to pin 6. So as long as you hook those up, you should be able to talk to this personalize it and virginize it right on the bench. Yeah, I notice they don't tell you where you're supposed to hook these wires. I mean, they tell you on the plug and they also show a 120 ohm resistor. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have never put that in. I've never had a problem with it. Um, if yours doesn't work, put the resistor in there. But me personally, I've done literally a hundred of them and I've never had a problem. So there you go. That is the 7G homemade cable. And just so you know, I made mine about four feet long so that if the car's on jack stands, I'll tell the customer, roll underneath there because I'm not doing it. And if it's up on a lift, it's real easy to roll a um, cart underneath with a battery and the cable and then just work right then. See you on the next one.